Well, good morning. It's a beautiful morning today. And today I'm doing something I don't typically do. I'm actually fishing before I have to go into work. So I'm actually, if you can kind of see like right there is one of my buddies and uh, he and I are going to the same place after we're done fishing. So I hit him up. I was like, hey man, you want to go, uh, crazy question, you want to go fishing before our work meeting? And he was like, I'm about that life. And I was like, this is awesome. This is really cool. Because these are some of the benefits and the pros of owning your own business. And um, like my wife and I, we have a marketing company. And then also being in business with some other guys and he kayak fishes and it's just awesome. So before we have our work meeting and appointments that we have to do later, we're supposed to link back up. I was like, man, you wanna go fishing? He's like, I'm, I'm about that life, so let's get it. So right now we are fishing in Clearwater, Florida and it's kind of windy, but we're still gonna get after it. We've got about two and a half, three hours that we can fish and I'm about to butt myself up right against these mangroves, against the wind and start throwing this top water. So we're gonna see if we can't pick up some fish today. Fish on! Woo -wee. Oh! <laughs> we got a nice trout coop! Woo, that's a good one! Let's go! Nineteen and a half inch trout! I had a beautiful trout this morning right here on the top water. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, got one. 
we go. There's one. So, so far it's pretty much just been trout city. I've caught five trout so far, one, only one of them being a keeper. So the other ones are pretty small. So I've been using the Yak Tribe top waters right here. This is the Rai Rai. It's got the red fish, got the red fish eye on it. And it's been doing pretty well. Sounds really good in the water. Um, but it's, it's, it's not that it's slow fishing, it's small trout. I'm still trying to learn this area. I haven't fished, this is my first time fishing this particular particular spot so i'm trying to figure out exactly where like the hot spots are the zones are and i keep running up on like shallow water so today's really a learning experience but i'm about to hit this little pass this little inlet between two uh big mangroves here and there's a lot of moving water so i'm hoping maybe there's some fish there and i know right now it's like nine o'clock i've got to get going soon get to work um but I'm still throwing top water. I love top water. You guys know that if you watch my videos. Still throwing top water. I just caught a trout on top water, so it's still working. I don't really stick to the twilight rule where it's, you know, you throw top water from 6.30 a.m. till, you know, 7.30 or 8 o'clock. I, I keep going throughout the day depending on how I'm feeling. And so, yeah, I, I put the uh, swim bait on. I got some, you know, little bites from little little things, but nothing really worth talking about. So I threw the top water back on. We're gonna work this little pass here a few times and see if we can't pick something else up. So the rest of this day honestly went pretty slow. So once it started to creep up around 10 o'clock, 10.30, 11 o'clock, you know, we had to start getting ready to go. We had meetings, I had meetings, and I had a bunch of work to do for the day. But pretty much this area, it turned out to be like Trout City. A bunch of trout, a lot of small trout though. This pinfish totally smashed this mirrored. <laughs> Look at this. It's in the tail and it's in his mouth. <laughs> I definitely want to come back to this area. I'm still learning this particular area. I don't fish clear water very often, like honestly, like at all. So this is pretty much new to me. But the waters and the mangroves and the conditions seem, you know, pretty familiar. It's just the actual parts and the the way the sandbars are and where the oyster beds are and where the channels are i'm still kind of learning you know this area so i'm going to come back my buddy said he saw a bunch of redfish i saw a few but he said he saw some pretty decent sized schools of red so i'm going to come back see if i can chase some of those down i saw some places that look like pretty ideal on where they would be and like i said i saw some actually pretty big red fish but they were just like one off two off i didn't get them to bite obviously today so anyways guys thanks for watching this video i hope you guys enjoy the content the next video is catching a bunch of mullet getting ready for tarpon season